Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about enabling remote desktop using PowerShell. For this video presentation, we'll be using one virtual install of Server 2012 or 2016, configured as a domain controller, one virtual install of Server Core 2012 or 2016 joined to the domain, one virtual install of Windows 10 joined to the domain. Remote Desktop, or RDP, allows us to have remote access to a machine as if we were sitting physically in front of it. With RDP, we can be anywhere in the building. We can be on the highway between two jobs. We can be in a remote hotel, or we can be at home, and we can still get access to our servers and our client machines using Remote Desktop. Before we get into the PowerShell portion of this lab, I wanted to show you how we can enable RDP using the GUI. There are a number of different ways that we can enable remote desktop on this machine other than using PowerShell. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use the command prompt. To start, we're just going to go to search. We're going to type in CMD, and that brings up the command prompt. Now, once I have the command prompt up, I'm just going to type in, or copy and paste in this case, system properties remote.exe. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. That brings up the system properties dialog box for enabling RDP. The default is not to allow remote connections to this computer, so we're going to select the radio button that will allow remote connections to this computer. And if we would like to add other users other than the administrators to have access to this machine remotely using RDP, we can click on the select users button and for this demonstration, I'll add the interns group. And I'll check names. I'll say OK. And now the interns are members of the remote desktop users. I'll click OK. And then I'll click Apply, click OK. And now RDP is enabled on this machine. For this next demonstration, we're going to see how we use PowerShell to enable RDP on this particular server. To get started, we're going to go to the Start button. And from the Tile menu, we're going to select Windows PowerShell, right-click, and we're going to say Run as Administrator. I've gone full screen, and I have increased the font size so that you can better see what's going on with these PowerShell commands. So I've copied and pasted the first command into my PowerShell. Now, it's a pretty long command, but let's take a look at it. So it tells you that it's going to go up, and it's going to set the registry key with the value of 0. And this is going to enable or turn on remote desktop protocol on this machine. So let's go ahead and just hit enter. And it comes back to the prompt letting us know that the command completed successfully. This next command is going to make an exception through our firewall. And it's going to allow RDP from a remote user to come into this machine. So it's going to set the firewall for remote desktop users and allow TCPIN, and it's going to enable it by setting that particular variable on the firewall to true. Let's go ahead and hit enter, and we're back to the prompt, letting us know that the command completed successfully. This third and last command is going to require that RDP must use authentication to communicate to this device. Go ahead and hit enter, and we're back to the prompt, letting us know that the command completed successfully. So now that we have RDP enabled on our domain controller, we need to test it. And to do this, I'm going to use my Windows 10 client. I'm going to go to the Start button here. And in the search, I'm going to type in Remote. And at the very top, I'm going to select Remote Desktop Connection. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can type in the actual name of the server if you have Reverse Lookup Zone configured for your DNS. Or you can type in the IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of my domain controller. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect. And it's going to pop up, but it's going to ask you for your administrator password. Once you have your password typed in, just click on the OK button. And now it's going to attempt to connect. And we're now looking at the desktop of my domain controller, my DC1. And this is right where we left it. We're now enabling RDP on my domain controller, and I'll be able to get to it anywhere inside the building as long as I have access to a machine that is connected to the network. To disconnect, we're just going to go to the Start button. 
we're going to click on the power button and now you'll see a new option it says disconnect we're going to go ahead and use that and that's going to kill my session bring us right back to my windows 10 desktop that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about enabling remote desktop on a machine using PowerShell. Now, if you have any questions or concerns about anything that was covered in this video or in the lab, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And I'll see you in my next video.